She was a fantastic wife, a great ex-wife and a great widow. Frank Sinatra, who she knew as a fireman's son from Hoboken, would sing for a pack of two of smokes and a lunch, but dreamt of more, not as a legendary figure. She was the person he trusted the most from the moment she first saw him, while filing her nails on a front porch in the beach town of Long Branch, when he was nineteen and she was two years younger, until his death at the age of eighty-two. She was the one with whom he could share his deepest fears, joys and family secrets. It is commonly known that he was unable to love her consistently as she deserved. His infamous and shocking adultery was shocking. But that he always loved her with the confidence that came from a tie formed before celebrity, wealth, hangers-on and parasites swarmed in on him. She made his extra-large floppy bow ties as a young wife, making them bigger so that admirers could rip them off. She maintained her composure like a wise lady while he destroyed his. The man, who once called himself an eighteen-carat manic depressive, felt safest and most likely happiest in her house, which was made by her in her capacity as a grand old dame. Although Nancy Sinatra was the object of Sinatra's deepest desire, the singer lacked impulse control around women. Big Nancy, as she would be referred to, she was an Italian-American who came from a large, noisy family. She was raised listening to opera non-stop on the radio or Vitrola. Her table was open despite her father's strictness. Frank was enamoured, since he had never, ever had a reliable female. Nancy put up with Sinatra's no-strings-attachment environment and total access to gorgeous ladies while he was on tour. I knew where his heart was because he always came back to me. His anatomy in other areas tells a very different tale. She considered Sinatra to be the best parent he knew how to be, despite his many affairs. Nancy, who was a fantastic chef and had no personal goals, was the quintessential Italian mother. She gave her everything to her family. The family went through a traumatic experience in 1963 when Frank Jr. was taken from a hotel room and kept captive for a $240,000 ransom. He was freed from damage, she asked a group of reporters who had gathered on the sidewalk in front of her house after her kid was released. Fellas, do you mind if we go now? I want to give him food. However, she didn't fit in with Sinatra's and Hollywood's culture. Years after making the decision to leave Nancy and the children, Sinatra was still tormented by it. He would not be so kind to himself. Nancy initially resisted giving Sinatra a divorce, but she eventually consented. Click here to watch this video next!